made it. So I wanted to point out right away, the lighting you see here is not the actual lighting. I had to change this lighting so you could see me during the video. Today what I want to show you guys is the lighting setup. The racks come off, like I said before, and of course putting the live rock with the corals in. I also wanted to talk a little bit about the flow. I only have the one Higer Mini Wave in here, and I want to talk about placement. I already moved the paleos, so we're going to look at all that today. So I just lifted it out, the leather fell off, so I'm gonna have to re-glue that. There it is. It's inside there now. It's small in there compared to what it was in the six gallon. There it is. Here's the retired six gallon. Cleaned it up a bit. I left some coralline in it. Rock flowers recovered really quick. It's only been about 45 minutes. Of course, the Kenya tree opened right up. The tank is still a work in progress, guys. When I look at it, I know I still need some more live rock structure on the back left. What I'm gonna do is go underneath here, take this out. The paleos are connected on a separate piece of rock under there. I'm gonna cut it off and put them somewhere else because this thing's just gonna open up more and more. Lighting, I think it's quite unique, but what I found was that it gives me more control. So I'm using the Kessel A80 and the AI Prime Soul, three of each. And what I can do is move them around depending on what corals need more light. These are neodymium magnets. They're called rare earth magnets. They're really strong. And the reason why I put them there is to hold in the bracket but I can remove it easily. So if I have to get my arms in here, I can remove all these if I want to. What I like about the lighting setup is the control. I can move these around back and forth depending on what needs more light. And I just really like the combination of these two together. The A80 gives a great shimmer and then the soul creates a really nice color. This is what the 20 gallon looks like now, guys. Lots of Kenya trees just grew over time. I'm gonna just let those grow. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this yet, but I will keep it going. It's just got the Kessel A80 over it, full power. Looks kind of nice. So the flow, surprisingly so, I may not need as much as I thought. I only have the one Higer Mini Wave in here. And it's actually creating enough flow for soft coral, if you notice. I have it on the highest setting, but in the wave pattern. So it comes up and down. As you can see, this current here is just from the return. The return is at 800 gallons per hour. So that's creating a nice laminar flow around the whole edge of the tank. And then the mini wave is in the front here creating a nice flow. So that's day by day. I have to see if things settle. You can see there's a strong flow and you don't want it to be too strong, obviously, for soft coral. My sea fans and gorgonians are getting a nice flow.
fish are loving it. I noticed it right away. My guess is that pajama cardinal thinks he died and went to fish heaven. <laughs>